Hey everybody, I got a new disclaimer, and once I start taking commissions again, I will put the old disclaimer back up. And my Patreon supporters didn't get to see previews of this one because uh, I kind of made it on the spur of a moment and it did it, and it happened really fast. But they will still get to see the high resolution images. And if you want to join them, any bit of support helps. Link is, of course, below. <laughs> Okay, so I was basically working on three figures today, and um, I had to wait for epoxy to harden before I could do anything else, so I decided to pick up a quick little project that I've been meaning to do for quite a while. That is, of course, adding extra articulation to the Decidueye figure's wings. Um, seen here in this pose, this is as close as I could get it to the knocking an arrow back pose, which is its iconic spirit shackle move. Of course, given how it's supposed to look like this, uh, you can see that it kind of falls very short. Another thing is, this Decidueye figure has that spirit shackle arrow shooting gimmick, but, you know, it, it's not really an action figure. It can't do anything else. It's, it's basically just a Decidueye statue that shoots an arrow. Um, and they did make this really cool Decidueye plush that could stand on its own and actually has neck articulation and really poseable wings. So I thought, hey... Can I make the the wings of the action figure as poseable as this? Um, and so, you know, I decided to give that a shot. So that's what I did. So when I was looking up to Sijuai to get some pictures, I learned some interesting stuff about it. It turns out that it has a really interesting uh, genealogy. It appears to have been based off of a Hawaiian species of owl called the stilt-legged owl. Well, there were actually four different species of stilt-legged owls from what we can, we can understand. Um, but they were a species of owls that lived on Hawaii, and um, apparently, although they were able to fly, they rarely did, preferring to hunt on foot. Um, they had lost their taste for flying, perhaps because there were no predators on the island since, you know, there aren't any mammals that naturally occur on Hawaii. This actually plays into the evolutionary line, because Rowlet and Dardix, uh, they're both flying types. They're grass flying types. But then when they evolve into Decidueye and get the long stilt legs, it sacrifices its flying type and becomes a ghost type. Just like how the stilt-legged owls didn't like to fly. And then the reason why it's a ghost type is also explained because sadly, all four species of stilt-legged owls are extinct. Uh, they went extinct when Westerners first started colonizing Hawaii and, um, and farm animals and vermin like rats completely outcompeted and destroyed their habitat. It's sad, but the, the stilt-legged owls went extinct so fast, they were never actually observed by scientists. So everything we know about the stilt-legged owls comes from, uh, from studying their microfossils and what the natives say about them. That's kind of a tragic story. And it's, really, and it's really interesting to be reflected in one of the starter Pokemon, especially when you consider the other two are just wrestler, cat, and mermaid seal. Yeah, I'm just a sucker for a good backstory. Um, so, uh, the Decidueye figure, like I said, it lacks posability in the wings. So what I did was, um, it turns out that a lot of it can be popped off. You don't even really have to heat it. Uh, but the one problem is that the arms don't come off at the shoulders. The kind of plastic that the body is made out of is just, it's not the type that softens up. Uh, so after I popped off the hands, um, the little feather hands, uh, the legs and the head, um, I, uh, uh, this is what the arms look like underneath. Wings. They look like arms, but they're wings. And to, be, to the credit, they tried to give it articulation. I mean, that is a pin disc elbow joint. It, if this was just a regular humanoid action figure, those would be perfectly adequate. They, they get a solid 90 degree bend. They have a bicep swivel. This would normally be a good arm. It's just that it's not supposed to be an arm. It's supposed to be deciduized wing. Uh, so I would need to put in a whole bunch more joints to create the flexibility that we see in the, um, in the actual game model. And I got those joints out of this. It's the uh, Ekans Mega Bloks figure, which is basically just a chain of a whole bunch of Mega Bloks ball joints, which are the perfect size to stick inside those little fabric wing thingies. Uh, so all I had to do was cut off the arms. Um, I cut off uh, the arm a little bit past the shoulder so that I would be able to stick the Mega Bloks joints onto it. And I did the same thing for the wrist. I didn't want to lose the normal rotating wrist articulation, so I, I took a little bit of plastic from the forearm part of the wing and, uh, you know, just long enough for the mushroom cap of the hand to still go into it. So this would allow, 
the wrist to still work the same way. Um, basically, it looks like this. Uh, I just used four of the joints. I had to cut into it to give it a something to you know solidly glue onto. But you know, there there it is. So now instead of there only being one joint for the elbow, there's three. Um, and this is still the same length as the original arm, so I could stick the wing back up onto it without, you know, without it fitting too illy. Uh, so, yeah, I just basically repeated this process on the other side, and, uh, there we go. Decidui with symmetrical wings, and that they're, they're much more flexible. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Um, there was absolutely no painting or any other kind of change to the deco that I did, so that's why this figure came together so fast, just a quick little modification to the wings. And, um... He is much more capable of pulling off, you know, some Decidueye poses. So now I can officially say that this is no longer just the Decidueye action figure. This is now the action figure of Tiba, my Decidueye, because he was my starter when I played through Pokemon Moon. And after I took these pictures, I realized that there was a li still a little bit of limitation and that the fabric couldn't stretch far enough. Well, there's a second limitation in that the little collar piece that he has the plastic is way too stiff but there's nothing i could do about that without doing a complete tear down of the figure uh so i just cut some slits into the fabric of the wing so that they could separate the same way that you see decidueye's wing feathers separate out when he turns his left wing into a bow so now he is way more capable of pulling off that nifty archery pose isn't he and yes i did name my archery owl after one of the rito from breath of the wild yeah yeah i'm a nerd and uh I decided to take a picture of him with my Greninja figure because Greninja was my starter in Pokemon Y. Uh, his name is Susano, but, you know, the Greninja figure was good enough that I didn't need to make any modifications to it, so, you know, Susano just outright has an action figure. Alright, hope you guys like this little diversion. I should have some proper uh, commissioned figures for you guys in a couple days. See you then!